Huh, that's a small action camera. How do I show this off the best? Mm, maybe if I go outside? Nah, that's not gonna be good enough. What if I ask my dad to do something? That could work. Or if I take a drive in his tractor. Maybe if I take a run around the house and show off the stabilization of it? I guess that that could work. The DJI Action 2 is here and have you seen the size of this thing? It is incredibly small. The camera itself has a metal exterior and you only have one physical button which is the start and stop recording and then you have the OLED touch screen here in the back. And this part that you see right here is waterproof up to 10 meters. So you can take a dive in the ocean and boom, swim down catch some fishes, all that good stuff that I can do here in Sweden because it is raining. And it also has a built-in memory, so you can use this on its own without bringing an SD card. If you forget, then you always have the backup. But as you can see here in the bottom, you have a couple of golden connectors, and that is because it is modular. So you can connect it to a power unit or the dual screen unit. So you have one screen in the back, and one screen in the front. So if you're vlogging, then you can see yourself with the screen right here. And this also acts as the charger because it's a built-in battery. And this is also where you put in the micro SD card if you want to expand the memory. But when you're using these two units together, then it's not waterproof anymore. If you want to take a swim or use it on water, then you gotta make sure you only use this one or you gotta use a waterproof case so that it doesn't break on you because that is something that we don't want to happen. The best part about this modularity, in my opinion, is that you don't need to have anything else. It's just super simple, taps on just like that, super satisfying as well. I could do this all day. It's like, oh, oh, ah. Metal against metal. And as you saw in the beginning of the video, when I was driving my dad's tractor, I used this necklace to get that POV style kind of look in the video. So you basically take this and you put it behind your shirt and then, oh, and take the camera, flip it on. And now we have a POV style camera. And it's gonna give you this immersive view whenever you're doing something that requires two hands or when you simply don't want to carry a camera or set up a camera, then you can just have this point of view. And now you're uh, feeling how it is to be a YouTuber. Huh? Right now you're hearing the audio quality of the Action 2. And uh, if I can say so myself, I think it sounds pretty darn good for being such a small action camera. And when you have the camera connected to the front screen, this is what it sounds like. You have three extra microphones on the front screen module and one on the camera, which creates this four microphone matrix on the Action 2. The field of view of this thing is just wicked. Do you see how big my office looks when I'm shooting with this? It is wild. Right now, I'm shooting with the wide option in the Action 2, and uh, I gotta say, I think it looks pretty darn good. Right now, I'm shooting with the ultra wide and uh, holding the same distance to the camera that I did previously, and there is a lot more to see in this shot. When you're outside and shooting with this, it gives you this really epic feel of view, 
and is very good, especially when you're doing some action stuff with a camera like this. One of the biggest features I see of this camera is definitely the versatility in size. Because since you have a magnetic bottom, you can attach it to anything. If you want to have it like so, then you can do that. Maybe a new POV when unboxing. But it gives you so many different things that you can attach the camera to when you're out shooting. Having a camera like this that can shoot 4K 120 FPS for me is kind of mind-blowing because I think that being able to cram something like that out of camera this size, that is awesome. And it definitely gives you a unique perspective when you're outside and you want to have some cool looking b-roll and just incorporate that into your video without it taking up too much time or energy or money for that matter to get those kind of shots. When I was outside shooting the forest stuff, I actually used this which is acting like a tripod and an extension rod. So when you want to get some nice looking b-roll shots, you just turn on the steady shot in the camera and then move back and then slow it down once you jump in the post. And it is extremely easy to get some smooth looking b-roll shots with this stick and this camera. And I mean, of course you could go handheld, but I do think that it's a little bit too small to do that. So I highly recommend to have something like this if you want to get a lot steadier shots. Another reason is of course that if you have only a camera like this when you're out shooting, maybe you're climbing up a mountain or something similar, then this tripod is going to be great for you to record yourself and just set up a quick YouTube talking headshot straight on the go. And when I was driving my dad's tractor, I also mounted this to the forks and to the roof with nothing but the magnet that is on the camera. I personally like to use the D cine like profile when I'm shooting with an action camera like this, mainly because it gives you a little bit more dynamic range and you can do a little bit more when you jump into post. But if you're shooting in all auto, I do think it gives you some good colors and it also does a really good job of adjusting the exposure depending on where you're shooting and what kind of highlights you got in the shot or what kind of shadows you got in the shot. But then again, you have all the different functions so that you can go in and adjust the exposure or the white balance or the picture profile or the field of view for that matter, if that is something that you're into. Even though action cameras isn't my strongest side, I do think it's pretty amazing what DJI has done with Action 2. And uh, as always, I would love to know, what do you think about the Action 2? Do drop a comment down below and uh, do not forget to follow me on uh, Instagram. I have a blast over there, there's a lot of stuff going on and uh, if you want to see more behind the scenes stuff that I do, then I am uh, dropping, I am, <laughs> I'm dropping a link to my vlog channel down below as well. And last point that I want to make in this video, do not forget to subscribe because I would love to see you in the next video. Peter van Oswede saying goodbye.